Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at blanks in formulas and how they can cause problems and how you can avoid those problems in your formulas in Excel. So let's take a look at this today. So here's our scenario. In cell C3 I want to enter a value. And in C4 I have a formula that says if C3 is greater than 5, give me that value. If not, just enter a blank, which I'm representing as double quotes. Now double quotes is basically saying whatever you put in between there is text. I'm putting nothing, so it's going to show nothing, but it's still a text string. Now, here's some tests I have here. Is C4 a number? That's true. 10 is a number. Is it greater than 0? Yes, that's true. If I have a formula that says if C4 is greater than 0, give me a yes. If not, give me a no. In this case, I get a yes, which again makes sense. And is C4 greater than a million? No, that's false. But what happens if I put the number 3 here? If C3 is greater than 5, which is not, give me a blank. So I got a blank. Is it a number? No, that's false. But is C4 greater than 0? It says that it's true. If C4 is greater than 0, give me a yes, and it did give me a yes. And is C4 greater than a million? It gave me a true. What happens is that Excel will treat text as higher than values. So even though we're showing a, a blank here, it's treating that higher than any number. So it can truly mess up your formulas if you are trying to, let's say, filter everything by values that are greater than zero, it's going to include areas where it generates a blank. So what can we do in this scenario? Well, one thing we can do is instead of putting a blank, we can just insert a zero, and that'll give us all the right information. Is it greater than five? No, it's false, so it gives me a zero. Is it a number? Yes, that's true. Is it greater than zero? No. So I get a no here. And is it greater than a million? No, that's false. But what happens if you need it to visually look like a blank or not at least be as obtrusive as a zero might be? Well, one thing you can do is you can set it up to be the comma style. And if you selected that formatting, you just get a small dash. That might be better than having a zero there, but maybe you still want it to look like a true blank. So I'm going to hit Control Z to go back to zero. The other thing that you can do is use conditional formatting to have it appear to be blank. So I'm going to go up to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, and say New Rule, and I'm going to choose Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. And my format is going to be equals C4 equals 0. And I'm going to format it so that for the font, the color I'm going to choose is white or whatever your background color happens to be. I'll say OK and OK. And now when a 0 appears there, it will format it in the white font so it appears to be a blank. If I enter something larger than 5, it will populate that cell with that value and it'll look normal. However, if you want it to appear blank, say anything less than five, it will now appear as a blank. And that's how you can accomplish that in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day and happy excelling.